Now we got a question from Leon Siegel. Could you talk about the difference between tenor and soprano in Coltrane's playing and in your own music? Well, obviously the soprano suggests uh, an oriental feel, sound, especially the way Train played it. Uh, there's a what's the, there's a Shinai influence that I've have always felt was important there. Um, not to say that he didn't play uh, normal normal uh, changes and uh, do all the, the, the jazz language, but the soprano seemed to open up the Orient a little bit, Indianish and Middle Eastern and so forth and so on. Um, in my playing, I felt that the soprano could be looked upon as another trumpet. And again, this has to do with my time with Miles. I would look over there and say, something about a straight horn that I should be looking into because the sack the tenor has a curve. And this has, sounds idiotic, but I said the way the, the, the percussiveness of it and the rhythm that you could get on the soprano because of the register, the higher register, was a little bit unique. If you did the same thing on tenor, it wouldn't sound as good to, to, to feel that. It was better that, you know, use the soprano for a certain kind of thing and use the tenor for another kind of thing. It, it remains to be seen what with the soprano he discovered it with, you know, Don Cherry and Steve, of course, Bruce Steve Lacey, uh, hearing Lacey play. And he liked it because he could practice on the bed. He could be, the one could be in his lap and he could be practicing. Um, but then late train, the year we were just talking about a few minutes ago, he really didn't hear the soprano anymore. It felt like it was a side trip that he took and opened up a little bit of that, again, Indian Oriental kind of thing. Uh, but then when it, he had exhausted that, he went back to the tenor. And his tenor playing in late train is ridiculous. I mean, it's a, another thing altogether. Never has anybody had a sound like that. Uh, the textures, the use of the altissimo, uh, the use of harmonics and everything like that. I mean, he really uh, took the tenor to another level. And, you know, if you play two instruments or three instruments, I mean, I've spoken about this a lot because there was a 15-year period when I stopped tenor. And when you play one instrument only, you find things about it that can, can only be found by constant exposure to the instrument. And, uh, I think Train, he, he took, he, when he played soprano, he enjoyed it and played great, unbelievable. And, of course, it fit my favorite things, which was the soprano. It was his, his, his uh, what do you call it, his chief tune that he did in every set. And uh, the soprano really... Soprano had a lot of time. He had, he had a good time on the soprano. And I enjoy playing it in, in a way sometimes more than tenor. I feel like um, I can think like um, like I think Miles thought. I don't have to explain that, but that's part of what I get on the soprano. 